guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So I'm a makeup addict, a makeup lover, whatever you'd like to call me. I cover everything here on my channel from drugstore all the way up to luxury makeup products. I do do some fashion and skincare videos as well. So if that is something you think you'd be interested in, make sure you do hit that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification beside it to keep up to date to my videos because you guys know I'm not the most freaking uploader. I tell you in every video and it's actually been really infrequent lately. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit in this video. This is a Makeup Matters Monday, but we are gonna be talking about like focusing on a foundation that I've been wanting to try, I just never purchased it. So it's not brand new. I'm sure you've seen other reviews. This is just gonna be a first impressions though. Like the, <laughs> that's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna do a couple check-ins throughout the day kind of for a wear test so you can see how it looks. Um, but I'm going to be trying the HD Skin Foundation from Makeup Forever, this new reformulated one. I got one of these like foundation packs from Sephora and there's definitely a shades in here that can match up to me. I think I'll mix these two shades because I am a bit deeper right now on my chest than my face, but even my face is a little bit deeper than normal. I've been out, I guess. So we're going to try this guy out. I know it's not brand new, but I want to try it. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's get into the video. So uh, I first kind of want to talk to you guys just for a minute because I have not been filming videos really at all. Um, I don't know. I just really haven't, I haven't had the time. You know, I, I've talked about this before. I do work um, full time. I have a two year old at home and honestly, I just have barely any free time. He's been going to bed later. Like I would say between eight and nine o'clock and I typically go to bed at 11 and if you're a mom like you need time to decompress um any parent even even a father like you need some time to just sit and do kind of what you do and I just haven't had much of that I love him though we have been doing tons of fun things too that's the other reason like we're always on the weekends out doing something um we went to actually a campground yesterday um Dale's sister is actually visiting, so all the family was there, and they had a Halloween event, Halloween in August. It was so much fun. I think it's better than normal Halloween here. He got so much candy. He went to a kid's dance. It was just a blast. So we've been doing all kinds of stuff, and the next week when we have a monster truck show, we are taking him to. So it's kind of some reasons why I've been absent, and also I've been a bit burnt out not that I don't want to buy new makeup but I guess I've fallen into that trap where I've kind of felt pressure like to have content for my channel I need to have new makeup and I just don't want to do that um like I said I have a young son I want to start putting more money towards you know savings for him for us in general um especially in the climate of the world it's not great right now we have two incomes and we're even finding things harder than we used to um, which it's not ideal. I'm sure everyone is feeling it. Everyone around the world is feeling the kind of effects that COVID really had on everything. Um, and unfortunately I just don't want to be only buying new product all the time for my channel. I'm not monetized yet. I don't make money off this channel. And one of the reasons as well I've held off on my 1k giveaway is because I have a box of makeup, but it's at this point older. I'm not sure if I even want to give that away um, at this point. So I may just do like a hundred dollar gift card from Sephora and anyone you know that can get a gift card from Sephora would be able to have that. I would just send it to them as an e-gift. I think that's a great gift. I would like to win that. You guys will have to let me know. I just don't want to send makeup that's like over a year old at this point. Um, and also shipping is crazy. I do have quite a few international followers at this point and I, I I don't know if I would even be able to ship the box of makeup I have to some of the locations so I, I just want to say I am still going to do something for that I just need to reconfigure what I'm going to do and I hope you guys understand that again I don't make any money on this channel I just do it because I like doing it um and I hope you guys enjoy the content I hope and I want to keep doing it more obviously I would love for this to be something I could do more often, but at this point, it's it's just whenever I have a chance to actually sit down and film. I'm sorry, I know I love it, but it's been so much harder. I thought it'd be easier and it's just not. Um, but yeah, in saying all that, I know that was a lot. It's like a five minute intro, you probably don't care, but we are gonna get into testing this foundation out. I'm just gonna see if I can slide. Let me see. 
yeah, we can just slide the card out. So like this, and I'm going to mix these two. And the shades are 1N14 and 2N26. Now they do have 40 shades of this foundation. Makeup Forever is well known for having a great shade range and they really do. So this is the HD Undetectable Stay True Foundation co-created with our worldwide collective of makeup artists. Makeup Forever is pretty like on point usually with their products. I have to say that and a lot of makeup artists do recommend them. Um, now it does say it's supposed to instantly blur, cover imperfections, buildable medium to full coverage, natural looking result, 24 hour wear, waterproof, sweatproof, smudge proof, mouse friendly. Now all foundations say that typically that's not a true statement, but just so you know, they did say that on there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get into testing this guy out. Um, I'm going to put on my bougie La Mer primer. You don't have to do this. I'm actually trying to use this up. Um, I've had this for a long time. It's getting very low and yeah, it needs to be used up. And I can rely on this primer. I've used it for, like I said, for quite a long time since I bought it. And this one works really, really good. I have to be careful of my brows because I decided to um, put the NYX Thick It Stick It in my brows for now because I'm not doing anything too crazy. And I think this just livens up my brows. So we're gonna just get that in. This is a nice moisturizing primer. It feels really good on the skin. It leaves a bit of a tack. It's just really, really nice. And you don't need this though. Like there's a ton of affordable primers. I won't repurchase it. Um, unless I happen to see it somewhere like on super sale, but I'm not, I'm not gonna repurchase. I had to stop for coffee break. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get into these two. So I'm gonna pop these ones off. I think I can actually use, well, maybe I can just use this one or a mix of these two. Just because I, like I said, I am a bit darker right now. So let me just see. So that's what that shade looks like. That one is 2N26. I hope it's not like a yellow, yellow shade though. But I'll just kind of, oh yeah, that's perfect actually. That looks perfect. I know it looks darker on my skin, but keep in mind, I am, um, it is a little yellow though. Oh, I don't like the yellow tinge in that. It's probably why it says why. I don't know. I don't know makeup forever foundations that well. So we're going to start out just with that much and see how that goes. I'll get out my little mirror. Okay. So we'll just start kind of, ooh. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it which I don't love. I thought it was perfect but it's not. Okay we'll make it work. We'll just haul it down the neck. It's okay because I am a little bit worth up. With me being tanned I find this has actually got a bit of an orange tint to it now that I'm looking at it up close. Again this isn't my perfect shade but with me having a tan I can kind of make this work. So I'm just going to try to be easy around my brows. It's okay if I need to fix them up. Oh, I would say this is pretty um, natural looking. Just upon first application of this, this looks pretty. Wow. I don't mind that at all. Is it like my absolute favorite so far? Like of the foundations I have? No. And is the color match good? No. But... I mean, that doesn't look bad, right? Even though it's a little yellow, it is a little yellow on camera, especially. Maybe it's just my camera. I don't know. It doesn't look as yellow in person, but it does look a little yellow. Uh, but that's very natural, right? It has a little bit of a glow to it, probably from that primer, but still. It looks like really good on my nose, actually, which is surprising. I mean, it's, no, it looks good on my nose. Like for my nose, that looks really good. I do have something right here. What's going on here? That's me take that off. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It looks good around this area. And I would say it's a like medium coverage upon first application. It did say medium to buildable. So that would match up. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more just right here and right here. Just because that's typically where I like to get a little bit more coverage. And right there, I don't like to put a lot of coverage on my forehead. It tends to get cakey quicker so I don't want to do that so 
let's just build Ooh, it does build up because i can see that that's adding more coverage oh that's quite lovely i see why people like this i don't think it looks overly matte either like it has more of that definitely natural finish maybe like a satin maybe it'll dry to like a satin matte because it kind of has that look to it like the camera lights are definitely giving it more glow and probably the primer and also I do my skincare. But yeah, I think it looks good. It definitely built up in that area. You can see it cover more of the redness, but I still see my skin. Like I still feel like I have my skin popping through, even though it is a bit yellow. Let's just like ignore that. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good so far. So I'm going to put some concealer on and then we'll kind of come back and see how it looks like once everything is done. Okay guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and finished off all of my makeup off camera. I figured you've seen the foundation up close so you kind of like have an idea of what you, what it looked like and all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to finish it off while I had time. It's looking really beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really, really nice so far. Like, yeah, like I don't see anything that really looks that bad. Now I did use the Dior powder, no powder over top. I always set my foundations though, so I typically do even for these videos. I know some people don't like that, but that's how I do my makeup. So I'm gonna do what I wanna do in my videos. Um, but typically I've actually been using the one size powder from, um, who makes that? Patrick Star. Um, but I didn't use that because it's a heavier kind of powder foundation. So I just went with the Dior Powder No Powder. It's kind of a lighter powder. I thought it would be good to set and not really do a lot to the product. Um, but I think it looks really good. I will say up here, maybe a little bit, it's kind of emphasizing my fine lines, but that does happen to me, but we'll have to see how it looks throughout the day. I hope it doesn't get like drier because I probably won't like it then if it gets too dry, like around this area, but around my nose and stuff, it looks great. And around here, it looks great. So it'll really be just seeing how this wears throughout the day. I will do a couple check-ins with you guys before I finish off the video. So far, so good on this Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm liking it so far. Okay, so we're in natural lighting now, so you can really see what the foundation looks up close. Just in front of my um, back door, there's like a full window on it. Doesn't it look nice? The shade's a little off, but it's it's not it's not bad. I made it work. Yeah, it looks like really good right here. I'm quite impressed. It is definitely more of a, maybe like a satin matte, but it does have more of a natural look to it, which I like, although I did build it up. So you could make this like a lighter coverage foundation, but so far it looks really good. It's really gonna be how this holds up. If it gets more matte, I may not like it as much, but we will see. Hi guys, so I am back for the four hour check-in. I thought I would check in at four hours. It's been, I put this on, like I said, it's been four hours. So I put this on, why do I keep saying it? I put this on at around 11. I think I finished my makeup and it's now three o'clock. So I thought I'd do a little check-in. So let's just bring you in a little closer. Honestly, it looks really good. It's a little bit of settling here, but this is like very minimal for me. The nose is looking fabuloso. I mean, I would say here, you can tell it's matte, I guess, like right around here. I feel like I can tell it's matte. I think next time I will actually like not build it up as much because I feel like sometimes when you do that with foundations, it tends to kind of crease more in lines, but it's not bad. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty healthy. Yeah. And the forehead, I mean, again, you can see my forehead lines, but like almost any foundation you can, they're like forehead lines. I mean, I try to hide them, but there's only so much that I can do, but overall, I don't know. There's nothing worn off. It is a little bit like right here. Do you see there's a dry patch? Because it is a little bit matte, you can see that there. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. We'll check in again in a few hours. Okay, guys. So it is now my six hour check in. It's getting a little bit darker outside. Not going to lie. It still looks pretty good though in the camera. Uh, I'm still standing kind of in front of my back window on my door. I did wash my hair, so that's why it's wet. I figured I would do it while the baby is out. He is with my husband driving around sleeping. So <laughs> he took him to have a little nap, but honestly, it hasn't really changed much. It really hasn't. No, it I, honestly, I can't say anything bad about this right now. Like it has not changed. The coverage is really good. Even where I got some water, it came off a little bit, obviously, because I just washed my hair, but I can't hold that too much against it. Again, you can see it kind of in my lines. So 
I feel like this one, if you are someone that's super dry, you may not like this. I think it does have a bit of more of a matte dry down after it's like set down. It is a satin more so, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty skin like, even though it does have, like I said, around here, you can tell I have makeup on obviously, and there's some creasing, but nothing major so far. I'll keep leaving this on, but so far I am really liking this. Um, but I will give you my final thoughts here in a few hours. Okay guys, so I'm here for the final check-in. It's been eight hours, so a little shorter of a wear test, but I kind of want to get this one done and try to upload it for tomorrow on Monday. So um, we're just going to kind of zoom in here. So it's definitely like right here. You can tell it's like sunk into those lines here where my, like, my smile lines, but not anything too badly. I think it still looks good on most of my face. It has come off fully around here. Again, I did wash my hair, so I can't really blame it on that. I'll have to keep trying it, but I don't think it's the fault of the foundation. Um, I wouldn't say it's like waterproof though. I mean, just from looking around there, it's definitely not waterproof. Um, transfer proof, I don't think anything is fully transfer proof, but I did set my face, so nothing's like really coming off when I touch it. So, I mean, if I did use like a blotting sheet, I'm sure it would, but I think overall it looks really nice. It doesn't look too different from how it looked initially. It has a nice little finish to it. I feel like some of my natural oils have came through and really made it kind of melt into the skin. Now, I would recommend this if you're looking for a new foundation, but I'm not gonna go out and purchase it just because I have a million that I like just as much as this one, but I do think it's a good one. And it was nice to kind of try a Makeup Forever foundation. I haven't tried one in a really long time. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, but that's going to do it for me. That's the end of this foundation review, the end of this Makeup Matters Monday. Hopefully I can get this one up on time. Um, if you did like the video, make sure you do give me a big thumbs up. It does help my channel out. But I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.